Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you where to watch K-Drama for free with English subtitles. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, watching K-Drama can be frustrating, especially if you don't know where to actually watch, as well as uh, uh, websites that actually have English subtitles on them. In this case, we'll be showing you five uh, websites or apps that you could actually use here and uh, two additional that you might want to try. So first up is going to be Vue. Now, Vue is an app that you could actually install from Google Play Store. Now, uh, like any other apps there, they have a free version as well as a paid version. So typically, the free version of apps or, like, for example, Vue here, usually they need or they need to show some form of ads to actually monetize their content, which in this case, they actually earn from showing that ads and they also get the actual uh, fee of actually showing that K-drama on the platform once you actually watch that ad. But the thing here is if you get the premium plan here for VU, they usually uh, give you the option to skip ads, which is something pretty cool. Now, the only problem here with VU is uh, the availability. Now, meaning it's not always available on uh, certain countries. Like for example, if you go to Australia and install the uh, following app VU here, it's going to just say that VU is not available in your country or region, which is really unfortunate. So this limits this limits its availability and its use to certain countries. As you can see, uh, it's not available in my country. But if you get any errors, the good thing here is we actually are going to show you other apps or websites that you might want need or you might want need to try here. So in this case, the next thing we want to do is we want to show you WeTV. Now. Same thing like Vue here is they actually have a free plan they could use. But again, with the free plan, there are going to be certain limitations. Like for example, you can only watch a uh, the first uh, first three episodes of a K drama, or sometimes the K dr the drama itself is not yet is not yet available for free users. Now, typically at the top right, you should see VIP. So when you click on it, you should be able to see an option to get their VIP plan, which in this case, if you get it, you have the ad free option, log in into two, two devices, vast download, which is in this case, the increase your download speed here. And they also have the option to watch in 1080p, which increases your um, experience in watching K drama. Now, in this case, the price varies depending on the plan you get. Like, for example, I have 12 months VIP, 6 months VIP annual subscription. Now, in this case, they sometimes they give you a uh, discount on certain con uh, certain plans here. Like, for example, if you get the 12 months VIP here, it's going to actually slash the actual price to 39.99 instead of just $79 or $80, basically. So, yeah. So, you need to get the uh, premium plan here if you want to start watching it. Now, another app that you might, you might want to try here is going to be IGE. Now, in this case, it's it actually contains different uh, K-dramas, but they not only contain K-dramas, they also contain Asian dramas. So, meaning you'll be able to actually watch uh, dramas from other countries besides uh, Korea, or in this case, K-dramas. So, in this case, they actually have a lot here, so you could choose from the volume options here. You can browse if you want to and even download some of the episodes if you have the capabilities, if you get the VIP. So, it's up, right? You can go and click on VIP here. And depending on your current country, the actual price might change. So, for example, for its monthly subscription, it's going to be 76 Philippine Peso. If you translate that, it's around $1.50. Uh, in this case, you could go and get it if you want to. So this is going to be the standard plan and they also have the premium. So depending on the plan that you actually get, you'll be able to enjoy. Like for example, the free user here uh, enables you to watch in one screen, 70, uh, 720p quality. And the uh, library that you get access here is quite limited. So meaning you won't be able to access all the content that they actually offer. So if you get the standard here, you'll be able to enjoy the following options. Now. Another website that you might want to try or app that you want to try here is going to be iFlex. So same with other apps here, as you can see, we have a specific pattern on certain apps here, which in this case we'll be discussing later on. So in this case, again, same thing with other apps, they actually provide you a way to watch K-dramas for free. But if you really through or really want to further uh, get or basically increase your 
uh, experiencing watching K-drama, then you might need to get the subscription or VAP subscription here. So in this case, you can actually watch a few dramas here. So you could uh, access, watch a few of them. But in this case, uh, if you, again, sometimes they would show you ads to monetize their content since if you're just a free user. But then again, to fully access them, you could get the uh, VIP here. Now, another app that you might want to use here is going to be Viki, which is the most uh, known uh, one if you're going to ask me. So in this case, this is from Rakuten here. So it's the actual company to publish Viki here. So you could actually watch the most, most trending K-dramas out there. So as you can see, we have Lovely Runner, which is one of the most uh, recently finished uh, K-dramas as of right now. So in this case, they actually publish uh, K-dramas uh, real time as well. But in this case, you could uh, sometimes they actually have certain limitations on it. So for example, for older K-dramas, they will allow you to watch the whole series, but then again, they will show some some form of ads whenever you're watching. Now, in certain in certain cases, like for example, uh, for newer like uh, K dramas, they would actually limit the number of episodes that you could watch. Like for example, for the free version of uh, Viki here, they allow you to watch like episode one and episode two, but for episode three, you need to have a standard plan for you in, in order for you to watch that. Because then again, this series is again. Uh, quite new or fairly new when it actually finished. So again, you need to watch uh, or you need to pay for a subscription in order for you to uh, basically watch that specific uh, K-drama. So in this case, you need to get the Viki Pass here, which in this case, you, you either need to pay monthly or annual. So in this case, you have the you no know, ads access full library. So meaning you could actually watch the whole uh, content or any content that they actually publish on the platform itself. You could basically watch them. So if you want to get them, you could go ahead and get that. Now in this case, uh, with the apps that we've shown you, typically the only difference between them is going to be the content that they have. So sometimes uh, content or K-drama or series that is available on Viki might not be available in iFlix. Or in, the, in this case, if you have if they have a TV series on IKE, they sometimes don't have it in Viki or in iFlix. So it depends on which platform you want to get here. So in this case, if you want to use Viki, you can go ahead and do that. But then again, sometimes some K-drama will not be available on that specific platform now in this case the only difference here is going to be the content that is available on those platforms and their pricing structure so depending on what you need you could go ahead and do your own research because then again content may vary here on different websites or in different apps now another alternative here is going to be high tv so Hi TV, same thing. It's uh, one of the same apps here, but we actually have a separate tutorial for that, which in this case, we actually show you how to install it on your PC. So yeah, if you want to check that out, make sure to check our channel. And also another alternative that you could try here is going to be Netflix. So if you're not aware yet, or if you're not, or this, you're fairly new with K-Drama, Netflix actually offers limited series on Netflix, meaning some of the content that you are uh, or some of the K dramas that is only available on Netflix will not be available on the uh, platforms or apps that we've shown you before. So, in this case, if you want to watch uh, us, uh, Netflix exclusives or Netflix uh, specific uh, type of series, well, in this case, you need to get Netflix here. So, that is an alternative here because Netflix actually show, shows or offer uh, K drama content. But yeah, so that's about it. So choosing a plan or choosing a K-drama for yourself is actually uh, depends on what you need. So we just shown you those different apps that you could use. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.